very familiar with him. Mr. Walter is a famous commodity in Mississippi, a good ambassador for our state. He is a broadcaster in journalism. Everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. And there was an important job to do, and everybody was asked to do it. Everybody was sure someone would do it. Anyone could have done it, and no one did it. Somebody got angry because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody would do it, and nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. And there's an old adage that is very true. It says, if you want something done, ask a busy person, and it will be done. Uh, the, the Chamber Member of the Year Award goes to a busy lady. She is a true worker bee in the Chamber Hive, but not just for Chamber. She's a busy lady in our town. She's busy running her own successful business here in town. She's busy working with the Fine Arts Club. She's busy raising three children. Two of them she birthed. One of them she married. <laughs> she's busy in church. Uh, she's busy working with the museum. And she's busy making Bruce a better place to live. And it's an honor for me tonight to recognize Miss Ellen Shaw as our. <laughs> At a funeral in Varden. And we were standing in the, in the funeral home and someone made this remark about the deceased. And he said, well, she's not from Vardaman. She's only lived here 36 years. <laughs> and while we understand what this gentleman meant, it, it is true that some of us who are transplants uh, to Bruce are never really from here. And the recipient of the Citizen of the Year Award falls into that category. He's not from here. In fact, he was born in Memphis, but he was raised in Cowley City, and he graduated high school there in 1969. Tonight, we present to him, I think it's mostly because of his work in this building, in this place where we sit tonight. Although he is not from here, there are a few people in Bruce that are more of a fixture of this town. Uh, few people have his desire to, to make this place a better place. And that has been evidenced greatly with his work here in the museum. But it is a privilege for me tonight to, to recognize uh, a, a true citizen of Bruce. And we're glad that, that he's part of us. Mr. Ricky Vaughn is our, our recipient of the Citizen. 